Recently, following the SEC's endorsement of new proposals and regulations, there's explicit intent to confront companies generating adverse reports on stocks, corporations, and industries. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. The GameStop saga, coupled with the emergence of activist short sellers disseminating negative research to drive down share prices, has captured regulatory attention. From 2021 onwards, both the Department of Justice, DOJ, and SDC have been delving into potential manipulation orchestrated by short sellers and hedge funds concerning the publication of disparaging research. The SEC officials stated that these newly sanctioned rules, already approved and voted upon by the Commission, will bolster their efforts in pursuing these individuals and similar reports in the future. It's plausible to affirm that the days of unfettered short sellers are numbered. Given the knowledge that each report will be meticulously scrutinized, requiring substantiating evidence, they run the risk of being accused of market and stock manipulation should they lack sufficient proof to substantiate their claims. It's a significant paradigm shift, necessitating credible evidence for crafting reports concerning negative catalysts or predictions for any stock appealing to short sellers. Notably, this scrutiny doesn't only pertain to the SEC or FINRA. It's an integral aspect of the DOJ's ongoing investigation initiated last year. In 2022, the DOJ initiated raids on specific offices of research companies that had authored particular articles or reports. Substantial amounts of hardware, paperwork, and documentation were seized in these operations, underscoring the gravity of the situation. Should the SEC suspect market manipulation due to inadequately supported negative reports, they can swiftly channel the case to the DOJ, assembling all necessary evidence. Consequently, short sellers and research firms may find themselves embroiled in legal trouble. Given this reality, it's highly unlikely that these tactics will persist. Hence, it's not surprising that, since 2021, the frequency of negative articles, titles, headlines, and reports concerning stocks has decreased. Many anticipate that these organizations and agencies exercise caution due to the potential repercussions and their influence on specific securities in the open market. The absence of recent cases indicates a growing awareness of the forthcoming regulatory changes. Moreover, the prospect of a certain stock plummeting to zero based on groundless speculations is now a precarious position. The requirement for credible evidence to substantiate negative reports will dissuade unwarranted bashing of stocks. Notably, even a prominent website renowned for bashing mean stocks has vanished from Google searches, refraining from any postings. Some public figures have opted to deactivate their online accounts, especially those who previously expressed no negative sentiments about the stock, hinting at a conscious effort to maintain influence discreetly. In summary, this transformation is already underway. The pertinent question isn't if but when these new regulations will come into effect. Speculations range from 15 to 18 months, but the exact time frame remains uncertain. One is certain, however, is that this facet of the market will undergo a transformation. Post-implementation of the rules, seeking a negative article or bearish price target devoid of substantial evidence will prove arduous. Transparency and substantiation will be key, and anything to the contrary might not even surface in Google searches. The era of baseless disparagement is waning. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.